Hello my dear friends, my name is Sonne and welcome back to another video. Today I'm basically just going to show you literally every single thing I got in Japan. <laughs> it's been about two and a half weeks since I returned. I'm getting back into the swing of things, I'm getting back into content creating and I am also trying to clean my room. <laughs> and you know fit everything that I bought into my rooms over here so yeah I don't know I thought it would be fun to just show you every single thing that I got in Japan um, I was there for a month uh, which makes for a lot of shopping time so also a lot of things so this video is gonna, probably gonna be long so um sit down and enjoy I guess I'm gonna do it in the same way I usually do my um, collective hauls. I'm gonna do makeup, skincare, hair care, body care, whatever, fashion, and then extras. And I got everything divided, it's all laying around me over here. And I'm just gonna show you everything. So, usually I also give prices of everything, but I for the life of me do not know how expensive everything was i really don't if you're looking for a specific uh, price on a specific thing please ask maybe maybe i can look it up um but i will not be going through all the trouble of looking up every single price tag for every single thing because i can't so yeah let's quickly get into the makeup first I actually did not go too all out with makeup. I'm actually pretty proud of myself. I got way more skincare and hair care and everything. But makeup is really not that bad. So uh, let's do that first. And uh, let's start with the biggest thing that I got. Which is a Flower Nose Eyeshadow Palette. And this is stunning. If you watched my pre-Japan videos, you may have seen the video where I talk about like all the makeup that I want to try in Japan. Which I did not get all of that, but I did get a few things, so you'll see. But I mentioned that I wanted to see if I could find Flower Nose in stores over there, because they are in stores over there, and I love Flower Nose. It's a beautiful brand. It's a Chinese brand. And I managed to find it in a Don Quixote on like my last week. So I was really happy and I swatched a few things and I decided to take one thing home and it's the beautiful Moonlight Mermaid collection and this is the Moonlight Land eyeshadow palette. Do you see how stunning it is? The packaging is absolutely beautiful. And then this is what it looks like on the inside. We've got some beautiful shimmers and some lovely cool tones going on. And I think I can make something like nice and smoky with this. I thought this was just beautiful and it's a lot cheaper for me to get over there than to ship it over here. Because I think these, I paid like 20 euros for it over there. And then if I were to buy it online and have it shipped to me, it would be like including customs and everything like 60. So it's a lot cheaper. So I decided to just go ahead and get one. Then we have a few mascaras. First of all, I got the the Heroin Make. What is this? The Voimazing Heroin Make Long and Curl Mascara Advanced Film. This is supposed to be like one of the best mascaras out there. I've been using it. I like it, but it's not my favorite so far, up until now. But maybe if I use it for a bit longer, I don't know. But I like it. Um, so I got that one and then from the same brand I found these small mascaras and these are colored mascaras So these are the heroin make advanced film mascaras as well, but then in the shade Don't know if they actually have names But I'm pretty sure this is shade 2. It's like an olive green. It's really cool And then this is shade 6 which is like a purple, which is also really pretty they're like a bit more muted tones, but I really like the fact that they're like small mascaras because you use colored mascara a lot less and then you don't have like a giant tube and you don't have to throw out a lot of mascara after like a year when it's worn out, you know? Then I got something, this I've been loving so much, I'm so glad I got this. This is the Face Edition Powder by Etuses, which is a Japanese brand. I hadn't heard of it before, but when I saw it in store, I just thought I'd get it. Because this is a really nice powder. It's like in a nice little compact, very small. And then when you open it up, you have like a powder puff on the inside. 
and then a really nice lightweight very light pale uh, powder this works perfectly for me it just happens to work perfectly for me and then you can just go like and also touch up during the day there's a mirror in here so you can just like just gonna touch up my makeup and it works great i love it and i needed a new compact powder anyway so this was a great addition i really like this one then i got another face product this is the emery emily gel highlight um which comes in like a really cute little box it's really small and then you just have like this tiny little tube or like tub whatever and it's like a liquid gel texture highlighter and it's a really pretty like natural sheen it's not sparkly or anything so i really like using this on a day-to-day -day basis it just feels like a really like natural glow kind of vibe i like it a lot and then I have two lippies. Um, I think these are both Korean brands, actually. Yeah. So we got R Romand. I never know how to pronounce this, but I'm ass assuming it's Romand. A juicy, lasting lip tint in shade Pink Pumpkin. And it's like a really nice, bright, orangey. Maybe with a bit of a pink tone underneath, but it's like bright orange red. And it's a lip tint. I like it. I wanted to try it and you can't really get this stuff over here easily so. And then the final lippy is a lip gloss I believe. Just a regular lip gloss by Etude from the Retro Street collection and this is in the shade Retro Brown and it's just a really pretty brown gloss and I really love Korean like Asian glosses. They're like more like watery or something. I don't know. I really like it. And then I got one tool, which is this sponge. It's like a flocky 3D sponge. Uh, it's a bit weird. The brand is Shobido. And it's like a flocky texture. I don't know, it's a really strange texture. So I just wanted to try that. So that's why I got that one. And then that's actually already all of the makeup that I got. So I really did not get that much makeup. Um, but I did get a lot of skincare and hair care and everything, so let's quickly go over that. Let's start with face masks because Japan is known for their face masks, so I have to stock up too. Which is, these things are just wild to me. I basically also just wanted them because you can't get stuff like this over here. Like, look at this. Do you see this? This is a bag of sheet masks. There are 40 sheet masks in here. This thing cost me like four euros. When I get one sheet mask over here, it's about a euro. So this is, this is first of all cheap and handy. It's, it's, so I wanted it. And this is the Sika face mask. So I don't know, we'll see. It has hyaluronic acid, some aloe, chamomile so it's very calming i think so basically just moisturizes and soothes and that's it and then i have like a shit ton of them so that's great and then i got a bit of a smaller bag of this one which is supposed to be like one of the best face masks out there which is the kiana rice mask this has 10 of them so excited to try these i don't know i just did that uh, didn't really do my research i just checked on tiktok what everyone was talking about and then the last evening we went through it and just picked some things quickly because it was like the middle of the night it was literally like 12 literally midnight and we had to leave for our flight at 5 a.m so we had to leave the hotel at 5 a.m and we were in the don quixote at 12 running around trying to grab the last things you know the last kit cuts for everyone to try my last skincare and everything i think we were home around 12 30 a.m and i went to pack all our bags and everything we did not sleep that night just grabbed stuff and then when, because my skin was being shitty i thought i'd buy some pimple patches also for on the plane so i got these ones they're by kose and then i got the Medi Heal Tea Tree patches as well. I don't really know if I prefer these over the uh, hydrocolored patches because the hydrocolored patches, like the the Cosrx ones and everything, they're thicker. 
gel-like, gel I guess. And these are flatter, so you don't really see them. Like, you see them way less, but also, they're really sticky. When I take them off, they leave a really sticky layer on my skin, and I don't like that. So, maybe I'm doing something wrong. But these are specifically meant to also be under your makeup or everything, so they're really, really flat. So, I feel like the hydro-colored ones are more for, like, during the night. And then these ones are more for, like, during the day. Then, let's go over some cleansing so because i'm almost out of my cleansing balm and i know they have good cleansing balms over there i thought i'd get one so i got the and honey one which is just a regular cleansing balm i think the jar is so cute as well it's really not that convenient like for travel or anything but it's really cute um i tried it in the store it felt nice and i needed a new cleansing balm anyway and then while I was there, I bought this one earlier on on the trip. Um, I can take off this sticker. This one, the Senka Perfect Whip Beauty Foam. I've heard many great things about it. And then I bought it during the trip and I've been trying it. I've literally used this every single evening since. I love it. Love the texture of it. You literally eat the teensiest, tiniest amount. And you just rub it all over your face and it literally foams up so much. It's nice, it leaves my skin feeling so clean. And because I love this one so much, I thought I'd get a backup. And instead of just getting the same one, I thought I'd get one of the other ones from the line. So I'd get the collagen one. This one has collagen in it. I don't think that really does anything because I'm pretty sure the only way your body takes up collagen is through eating it and not adding it to your skin i don't think i think your skin is like a barrier that does not take that so i don't think that really does anything but i thought it would just be fun to try a different one instead of just getting the same one you know so i got this one and this one is a tiny bit bigger as well it has like 25 percent more love that for me so i got that one as a backup so that i think i will use that in like three years because with the teensiest amount that you need of this I can do years with this. Like literally, you need a pea size amount. It's wonderful. And then I also got this. Don't really know what it is. It it was near the um, near the register, and I saw it, so I just thought I buy it. And it's. I thought first of all, it looked cute. Second of all, this one is specifically for like washing and scrubbing your booty. And your hips and your thighs and everything i don't know if it makes a difference but i just thought it would be fun to try it smells like peaches uh which is nice and it's supposed to be like caring for your booty and it i got the cosme award so it's supposed to be good so we're gonna be trying that one out too because it's literally like it's so cute then i have some like serums and everything and toners so first of all i got this one, the Naturi Hatomugi Skin Conditioner. Um, it looks like I've already used up quite a bit, but I just put a bit of this in a smaller bottle so I can take that with me because this this thing is huge. I I've not I've been using this for three weeks, every single day, and I'm like, I think I've used like up until this. At first I wasn't, like, I've heard so many good things about this, but I wasn't really sure on what it exactly it was and how to use it. And I saw some people, like, use it as a toner, just lightly pat it in, which is fine. Or, like, apply it with a cotton pad, which I think it's fine. But I read somewhere that someone just put, like, a tiny bit in their hands, patted it in their skin, and did it, like, three times before they apply any other skincare. Because it's literally, like, a condition like it, it primes the skin basically for the skincare and i love that i've been using it that way every single day for three weeks um and as you can see i'm like like i literally use up like this much i still have so much in that other bottle so this will last me so long and i love the way my skin feels when i do that i just do it in the evening also sometimes in the morning when I have time and think about it. But in the evening just like do just apply a tiny bit like three times, make it sink into the skin and then apply all the other skincare and that skincare it just 
soaks into your skin so much easier than it usually does and my skin just feels plump it feels hydrated it feels it feels just nice i love it um, of course i just have to check in like two months like if how my skin looks especially with the changing atmosphere and flying and whatever like my skin has been a mess the past months ever since i left for japan my skin has been a mess basically so it needs to calm down adjust to the dutch weather um i need to get started on my daily routine again and of course we're gonna go in into fall so the atmosphere is gonna change a bit whatever um my skin needs to adjust a tiny bit and we're gonna see how this works with my skin over the couple next couple of months but so far i'm really excited about it and there's some things that i haven't used yet uh, mainly because i have so many different serums that i want to first check what i have use that up and then go into these later um so i got this one it's a vitamin c serum it's supposed to be really really good i have not tried it yet i don't know but this is supposed to be like one of the best vitamin c serums out there i guess so i got that as well to try out and then I got two things from Muji, because I don't know if you know Muji, but to me, Muji is pens and stationery. And I'm pretty sure that's how they started out, but their store literally has every single thing now. Literally every single thing you need is their clothes, um, food, decorations for your house, cutlery, cleaning supplies. Literally every single thing is there in Muji Aesthetic. And they also have a skincare section and I heard that this it's great so I wanted to try out some things and then I found these smaller bottles because I like trying out things but skincare takes a lot of time to use up and if I have this much new skincare to try out I will never get to any of it so I thought I'd buy the small bottles and I can try it out so we got the light toning water high moisture and then the moisturizing milk so you're supposed to use these after each other and you're supposed to moisturize your skin like crazy so we'll see about that then i have a like a ton of spf things because of course i i love using spf every single day in japan they have many many great spf so i have to get into it so the first one that i bought like right away over there was the biore one the watery gel this is didn't know if I had to get the watery gel or the watery essence, but I got the watery gel. So I got this one. I've been using it since I arrived in Japan every day. I really like how light it is on my skin. The only thing I don't like so far is the scent of alcohol in it. It's not been that much of a bother recently. So yeah, I got the aqua rich one. And then later on, like the evening before we left, I decided to also get the watery essence also because I just really like this one, the watery gel, and I thought I want to try the other one. And then I have some SPF backup for the next couple of months, you know, that I can go about a year, I guess. And then another regular SPF that I got is the new Coserex Aloe 54.2 Aqua Tone Up Sunscreen. And this is fun to me because Coserex over here, if you want it, you have to order it and it's expensive and over there i was just walking through a random store and it was just there and i could swatch it i could try it out the people there were so lovely and i really liked this one it's a like i feel like it's a bit of the newer more thought through version of the aloe soothing sun cream that i love it's one of my favorite spfs for the daily use um so this one also has aloe in it from what i remember from swatching it it wasn't like bright white it has like a bit of a like it's not really a tint but it's more of like a yellowish tone so it blends into your skin a lot easier and it just felt really nice and i felt like this is maybe an upgraded version of the aloe soothing sun cream so i need to try it so i got this one so i have all of that for the next couple like for the next year i guess and then i got two spf sticks because you can't really get stuff like this over here first of all i got the beauty veil powder uv stick i got this one because all the other uv sticks were like left like shiny and this one is literally matte like you don't see anything over there i love that especially because i get shiny from all the sweating so it's nice to apply something that's like powdery um i like this one 
I've been using it while it was hot, like in Italy as well. Just walking around, sweating off my SPF and then I would just go... Done. Great. And that's why I also got another one. This one is also supposed to be really good, which is also powdery, which I like. This one is by Nature Republic. And then the final SPF thing that I got are these sunscreen wipes by Muji, which were just really useful walking around Italy and just being in the sun all day, just having... just grab a wipe over my shoulders, my sensitive areas over here that burn really easily and I just have an extra layer on, which is nice. It's, it's really easy. The only thing that I didn't like is that it's only SPF 12. It doesn't do a lot, like you really have to make sure you also just apply your regular SPF 50 or 30, whatever you want to use. And then just use this as like later on during the day just as top ups, but then halfway through the day you do have to apply your actual SPF. So, I don't know. I also don't know when I'll use these again because there's literally no sun in the Netherlands right now and we're going into fall so there will probably be no more sun i really don't know when i will wait well when i will use these again so they'll probably be dried out by the time i will think about them again. okay now we have some hair care things left so first of all i got a very very famous uh, viral i think this is usually shishido the really really famous fino premium touch hair mask um, which makes my hair so soft and silky it feels so soft my mom used it as well she thinks it's great her hair felt so soft as well she was so excited about it it's a really big top of hair mask you really don't use that much then i got matching the famous famous hair oil by Aunt honey the melty moisture pair oil um, and I've been adding this to my hair after a shower and I've been enjoying that as well so far. It doesn't seem to make my hair really oily yet, so that's great. And then I got another thing from Muji, which is the Scalp Care Lotion. And you're supposed to spray this on your scalp and then just massage it in. And to be able to massage it in really well, I also got this hair massager from Muji. Um, but I haven't used this one yet, but I will try it soon. This is not really skincare or anything, but I, I use it for that, so I got this beautiful thing. <laughs> Isn't this amazing? I got the Pikachu ears. I'm ready to do my freaking makeup, baby. We went to literally every single Pokemon Center that we were near to, so I think we went to like seven or eight different ones. And the last one, which was... No, not the last one. The second to last one, which was in Yokohama, they had suddenly like this entire Pikachu collection for their um, Pokemon tournament that was in Yokohama, like the World Championships. And they had like a Pikachu collection and I saw these and I just, I had to grab them. Isn't this, they're so adorable. I love them. That, and that's that makeup wise um, and skincare wise and everything. We got one section done. I'm just gonna turn around a tiny bit. Go to the other section, you know? We're gonna do fashion. I'm gonna do fashion and an accessory. And I'm gonna divide it a tiny bit as well because I've got some new clothes and I've got some secondhand clothes. So, yeah. Uh, for new clothes, I did go to Uniqlo, which I it's a great store for basics. Uh, and I just tried on some things, went home with a few things, not that many. First of all, I got this great top and I wish I got more of these. I think I'm gonna get more of these from just Uniqlo Netherlands, but it's gonna be more expensive, so I'm sad about that, but they're just so great. And they're these um, bra tops. So as you can probably tell, there's like a built-in bra in this top. It's a nice bit of a cropped, tight top, which I love. It's very basic, I, I love it. And then on the inside, you have this extra layer with like sewn in cups and they're great they're so comfy and then the fact that you just have this nice top and you don't see any bra straps is great while still having a bit of the support i just love it they're great and i really want some more actually <laughs> so yeah i got that one and when i got this i didn't unpack this yet um so you can't see really well what it is but this is they're heat tech and it's a really tight 
turtleneck sweater that's like extra warm so this is gonna be great during the winter to layer under dresses or other sweaters or whatever so i'm very excited about that then as another basic that i kind of needed i got a new belt um usually when i try on belts over here i get the smallest size and it doesn't it's it's way too big because i like high-waisted jeans so my belts are also on the high waist so the smallest part of my waist um, and then all the belts here are too large. So I found one over there that actually fits on the smallest part of my waist and it fits great. Um, and then this is of course genuine leather. Then we got some bigger items. So first of all we got a pair of lovely trousers. They're white leg, like slacks or something. They're like... They look so nice and formal, they're great, they are a bit like on the shorter side but that's what makes them look fun. And then I got them in blue because they fit me so well and they look so cute and they had them in like a couple cute colors and I was like, ah, I can't, I can't choose, I can't, you can't make me choose between all the cute colors. And my boyfriend was like, they fit you well, they're they're very affordable, why not get the other one as well? So I got the same thing in this lovely green shade as well, which is also beautiful. So yeah, I got these really nice slacks, they were on sale. So they were about 20 euros, and I love them. And they're so comfy as well. And then I got another pair of jeans. Um, which are also white leg. I feel like they're about like the same model. And they have elastic in the waistband, which is also nice. And they have like cool pockets and they feel like a, like they feel really cool. And then they're also white and a bit shorter. And I think they would look really, really cute with like my little ankle booties underneath or my my Dr. Martens or something. I feel like they would really look really, really cute. So yeah, that's everything that I got in Uniqlo, and then I did get a bunch of secondhand gloves as well, so let's go over those. First of all, I went to, like, this was in Nico, and we went to a secondhand store, and it was, like, huge. There was barely anyone there. They had so many clothes. They had um, a lot of anime stuff, like figurines, decorations and everything. They also had an arcade. It was like a really really big store and everything was really cheap all of these clothes were either 330 yen or 220 yen which means they're between 1 euro 60 and 2 euros 20 so it's really freaking cheap and i got a few things so first of all i got a beautiful flowy purple skirt it's so cute, it has like multiple layers and they, they they fall from underneath. It's so cute and I feel adorable in this. Isn't that adorable? So cute. Does it have a brand? I don't think. I think tag was cut out. Oh, it's from a brand called 4 degrees Celsius, I guess. So yeah, that's just an adorable skirt. Then I have something, it's a bit wild, but... Um, I also need to figure out what I'm gonna do with this. This is a very pretty, satiny looking, a bit almost skin tight dress, but it feels a bit loose, but still very form fitting. Not really the, like, is it called a boat neck? When you have like the, it hangs, like the extra fabric hangs over here, like that. You know what I mean? It fits me absolutely perfectly. The thing is, this is extremely see-through, just over my knees. But literally when I wear underwear underneath this, you can literally see every single thing. So I want to find something that I can wear underneath this. So that's my goal, to find something to wear underneath this. But this is beautiful. It's from the brand Amo Amas Ama. I don't know, I thought like for, it was like two euros. Let's just bring it and I'll find something for underneath maybe someday. But I thought it was just so interesting and the fact that it fit me so perfectly just uh, you know it was almost like it was made for me so i need to find something that i can wear this with and then 
I got this very cute white skater skirt which has shorts built into it um, and the reason that I got this is because I do have one but the zipper is broken and this one was two euros and my mom cannot replace the zipper in my other one for two euros this is way cheaper so I thought this one fits I'll just bring it and this one is called from Faili Life I don't know. It's great. And then we have another skirt. I got a bunch of skirts and dresses. Um, we have another skirt. This one is by... I have no idea. But this one is a beautiful T-length skirt with, with floppels on it. I think it will be great for winter. The, the, the thing that surprised... No, it doesn't really surprise me actually, but it like... It was a nice little extra thing. Most of the skirts that I found over there, they had like a second or third layer underneath. Skirts in the Netherlands don't really have that. Skirts in Japan mostly seem to have like extra layers, which is too warm for summer over there, I think. But it's nice, nothing is shining through. Um, it's comfy, it looks nice, and it's gonna be a tiny bit nicer for winter or like fall when I try to style everything. And then the final thing that I got at that store is absolutely the best thing that I've ever found. Um, and it's, oh, it's so stunning. It's this absolutely beautiful dress. Also it's the same like the falling boat neck kind of thing. It's shiny black. It has like this little thing on the shoulder which you can take that off, but like a little piece of fabric that, that little piece of fabric that just falls over your shoulder, you know. And this one fits me so perfectly, like literally. And then it's beautiful, and it goes down until like my shins, and then it's asymmetrical at the bottom, which is also beautiful. And I need to find an excuse to wear this, but. This is so beautiful and elegant and it fits me so well. And I was just obsessed when I found it. So yeah, I can't wait to wear this somewhere. And then I have two more dresses. One that it looks like I have, I think these are two. This is the underdress for it. It's just a basic simple um, spaghetti strap dress. And then I got this, I basically got it for the underdress. Came with this really pretty like baby doll style dress with like frills and then there's just like a little ribbon in the back to tie everything up and it's a bit like yeah i think it's a baby doll style it has a bit of a higher like the waist is but higher it's a bit of like an empire waist i guess but i think it's cute and then the final thing that i found this was at a mode of is this beautiful dress which is bright green, it's such a fun color and then such fun little flowers and it has like these little frilly sleeves it's stunning and then it's like really long the only thing that I don't really like about it is that there's an underskirt in it but then the skirt is like just to like the thighs and then the rest of the skirt is to the bottom so you can see that but it's also just like a bit of a nice more casual dress so I did wear this nicely in Italy, just walking around Italy, walking around in the pretty dress. Then we have some more clothing things that are more like souvenirs because I don't know when I'll wear this but I'm really happy that I did get them. So I did buy myself a yukata and it's beautiful. This is the pattern on it. It has florals and it has little hearts. It's just with like regular short sleeves, just a regular yukata. It's a bit see-through but I did also buy an underskirt, which is also pink, so that's nice, that fits. And then of course I had to buy a beautiful obi for it to match, which has beautiful chrysanthemums on it. I think it's really pretty and I like it a lot. And I just want to like soon learn how to really properly style it. I did also buy what I believe, like at least in the last event, so I can wear that under the obi so the yukata is in place and then i can tie the obi so yeah also that. 
and everything is pink and then of course i needed some accessories i did not buy any gator or anything because uh, i can't walk here they hurt my feet and i feel like it would look just as cute with my own sandals i did buy a little cute purse which is great i think it's super cute this is it's so cute like this and it comes with like a little mirror here as well there's like a mirror in it go there's like a little mirror it's so cute so yeah that's that and then i have some more accessories let me see oh one thing that i did buy like while i was out wearing my yukata not that one another one that we rented but i wanted to buy a beautiful fan first of all as a souvenir but also because it was so freaking warm it was so warm and I wanted something to go off with. So I wanted to buy a fan that was first of all beautiful and second of all sort of matched the kimono that I was wearing. So I got this one and it's beautiful and purple, my favorite color so far. And it has some really pretty purple glittery flowers on it. I think they're supposed to be sakura flowers, just looking at that, but then they're purple and it's beautiful. And I can't wait to just put this somewhere or hang it up or whatever. It's beautiful. Then in like a dollar shop, it's a hundred yen, hundred yen shop, but it's basically the same as a dollar store. I got this beautiful clip, isn't it super cute? It's a flower. It's adorable. And then I did get some accessories like jewelry that I want to show off. Um, first of all, I got I got this ring, just squiggly. And sparkly a bit. I got this one in Kyoto. You can like get a ring made for you to size like life in front of you basically. It's not that expensive. You can pick a style. I went for the squiggles. You can pick a color of the, the metal which is silver for me and then you can pick like a finish and then he the, the person just makes the squiggles in front of you, he measures your fingers on like the specific finger that you want to, so I got it measured for this one and he makes it to size, makes sure it fits, then he finishes it off with the the, the the pretty finish and then like the polishing and everything and it takes like five minutes and then you have a beautiful ring and I think it's really nice that I had it made in Kyoto, in Gion, the beautiful beautiful old town and then on the day that I was wearing the beautiful kimono as well, it's like a nice memory for me. And it's nice that I have this, had this made on that day. And then I had some pairs of earrings that I bought. So I like buying earrings. So first of all I have these ones, which I don't know if you can tell, but these are Pokemon earrings. I got these at the Pokemon Center, because this thing over here, that Sobble, a water Pokemon, it always looks a tiny bit sad. And then there's these beautiful blue teardrop shaped gems. And I think they're just really cute. And I love the color blue, like that that type of blue. It's beautiful. So I thought these would be really, really cute and not like too obviously Pokemon. So I like them. Then I bought two another pair of earrings. This one I got in like a small shop which was connected to the Ghibli shop in Kyoto in Gion. Um and I got these beauties. Look how beautiful these are. They're kimono style earrings. So they're like almost like lace flowers. I'm sure they're just really cute and pretty. I mean, look how cute, how adorable that is. And then I got one final pair of earrings, which I got. Where did I get it? At the Fushimi and Ari Shrine when you walk up uh, and you get to like a um, souvenir shop at some point. And that's where I got these. I stared at them for a long time before I bought them, but I think they're beautiful. I love mismatched earrings that do sort of match and I like how they're in like a bit of Japanese hair accessory style with the little thing. They wrinkle, we have like a little fan, we have a kitsune mask and the saka flower. They're just really and I had to have them, so I bought them. So yeah, that's all of the accessories that I got. I got some different accessories too. Wait, let me get these. I got a few like baggies. Because important, we needed a coin purse to function. Because you have a lot of coins. There's still a lot of coins in here, but I got this secondhand coin purse at the book off. It's SP1. 
great Pokemon coin purse and it's like a little backpack as well, it's really cute. Then I got a different coin purse first because I also needed something to put like um, paper money in because my uh, wallet is too small for Japanese money. Uh, and I thought this one would be handy because it has like a slot for your, for like a card. So I could put like my Suica card in here and I could beep boop when I go into the metro or the train or whatever. And it's a Jack Skellington one. Very cute. It's very fluffy. Um, but this is just too loose. The card would fall out. And it was like still the money does not really fit in here. So it didn't really help. So I didn't really use that one actually. Then I also got just like one of those foldable shopping bags. They're really useful. And we got these at Kayukan from Gachapon over there. And they're just useful. That's it. They're just useful. And we use that one a lot. Because you get like plastic bags everywhere. So now we could be a tiny bit more sustainable and just say like, oh no, we have our own bag, it's fine. And then probably my my best favorite purchase of this entire trip is my ditto bag look at him isn't he beautiful he's soft he's perfect everything fit in here he's my favorite color purple everything fit in here so i have my disposable camera my wallet my phone um the sunscreen stick both our passports extra stuff just everything that you needed on a daily basis that you had to have with you I could fit all of that in here. Face powder and my lip gloss were in this front one. It's perfect. So yeah, I absolutely love him. Final thing, clothing wise, that I almost forgot. I got these beautiful... No, I got way more socks. I'm literally wearing them right now. Wait. All the other ones are in the laundry. I need to include a picture. I have a picture of them. I'll put the picture up on screen. Because I'm also not going to show you my feet. <laughs> but I got the beautiful socks from the Don Quixote, so I got Ditto socks, Calcifer socks, and Totoro socks. So, you know, my anime loving heart is happy. And then I got these socks. We got these at the... Uh, in Kawaguchi Go, you can take like a little cable train thingy. You can take it up to a mountain, so you have a nice view of Mount Fuji, and there's like a souvenir shop up there. And I had these beautiful hiking socks, they're really thick. High socks and then there's Fuji on there. It's really cute. And I love wearing these types of socks during winter in my Dr. Martens. So these are just perfect. They're pink, they're super cute, super soft, super squishy. And then Fuji, my babe, Fuji. So they're beautiful. I love them. Okay, so I think that was all the clothing and accessories. So I think we can move on to like extras, which is a lot. And I'm first going to show you the things that are stuck to my ditto because that's just handy to get those out of the way. I got some keychains because you need cute fluffy keychains when you're in Japan. So first of all, I first got this one, which is a suit sprite, and I got him at the Ghibli Museum. Then later, when we were at Kayukan, my boyfriend won this for me from one of the claw machines, and it's a cool shark. And then later on, I did a gashapon. Because I saw this casual and I needed to have it. And for some reason, it gave me exactly the one that I wanted. Because this casual had different types of sharks that looked like croissants. Perfect. And I wanted the whale shark. Because we did see a whale shark, two of them, when we went to Kayukan, the aquarium. And I love whale sharks. They're beautiful, majestic creatures. And I love them so much. And I got the whale shark. And look at him. Look at him. He looks like a croissant. And ha he has like chocolate on top as well. And he's like, look at his face. Oh, I love him. So yeah, those are my keychains that are now on my bag. And I need to put them on my backpack when I get back to uni. I'll go over kitchen items, I guess. Because I have some very cute things. Some of them have nothing to do with Japan, but it's just because I was able to get them over there, so I got them. Which, first of all, is this soup ladle. It's Nessie. Do you see this? Then I got another spoon. <laughs> I got this one in Nico, where they do hand-carved wooden items. And I 
do not own a soup spoon, like a noodle, like a ramen spoon, something that you would like use for your noodle soup, because like Asian soup spoons are so much better than regular spoons, specifically for soup. They make more sense. And I love this one. It's beautiful. It's wood carved. It has the beautiful purple little flower and drawn onto that. Isn't it adorable? And it's just a good spoon and I can eat my noodles, slurp my soup. Who doesn't want that? Then I have more kitchen appliances. I got this baby. Look at him. Calcifer is here to help me make my food. He's beautiful. He's adorable. He's perfect one person sized pan for small one people, one people living on their own people like me. He's in there. He's making sure my food cooks well. And if you make a pancake or something, his face is like pressed inside the pancake. It's perfect. I love him. He's beautiful. Then I got another calcifer thing because I freaking love calcifer and this is just perfect. Um, I got a calcifer coaster, which looks like this. So, you know, when you have your like little mug on here, it looks like calcifer is being squished by the mug and keeping your tea warm. It's not actually keeping your tea warm, but it looks like it. And isn't that the most adorable thing? So I had to have him. And then, I'm not sure if I will ever use this again, but this shit is so adorable. I have a Kirby bento box, because I bought this bento box to eat in the train. And I'm keeping the box, of course. So I got a Kirby lunch box. Will I put my lunch in here to take to my internship? Maybe. I will consider. But he's adorable. He's really cute. He's a train conductor. Oh, I also have this. Um, it's beautiful. Don't know if you can see this. Have it upside down. I do. Furoshiki, I think, is what it's called. I might have it wrong. But they're like uh, cloths that they use to wrap presents, or you can wrap everything in to bring to lunch or whatever to pack things. They're just beautiful cloths, and this one is just stunning to me. It has geisha on it, beautiful flowers, and temples. It just has so many beautiful things on it. Now it's upside down anyway. It has a pagoda on it. It's just really pretty. So, some kitchen stuff that I don't have over here, but that my boyfriend has. We have some, like, we bought some lovely, like, sets of everything for our future home as well. So we got some beautiful chopsticks. We each picked a pair of chopsticks that we both loved and they both just happened to be like this really dark brown wood. They just match really well. So we both have like a set of luxury chopsticks that we got in Kyoto. Then we also got some chopstick holders over there. Uh, I think these are really cute. They're like little fans with fireworks on them. So that's adorable. We also got them in Kyoto. Then in Nico we got some sake glasses which were also handmade and we really liked that they were sort of like we picked them we each picked one and we made them like kept one that was different but it still matches somehow so i think it, it just looks really cute and to go with that we got some hand carved plates as well and they just look really nice also from nico and then in nico we did a sake tasting and there we bought a set like a sake drinking game which is ceramic it's still wrapped on this picture but it's literally just white with some blue drawings on it and it's really simple you have a die and three cups and each cup is you know it gets bigger you literally just throw the die whatever cup it lands on that's the cup of sake you have to drink or it lands on nothing or it lands on either sing or dance so it's just a little fun drinking game to do with your friends and I thought it was really cute. So we got that as well. So I think that's most of the kitchen stuff. We did also get some snacks, mainly a lot of Kit Kats. We have so many different flavors. We have sweet potato, melon, sake, matcha, ice cream, strawberry, 72% cacao, wasabi, milk tea. I think that might be all of them. So that's nine different flavors of KitKat, which is very fun. It's very fun to try everything out, but my god, everything is so sweet. So sweet. 
And then let's do like weird stuff because of course I also had a lot of Kashapon and mystery box things. I kind of divided it into like random stuff, Ghibli stuff and Pokemon stuff. No, let's do like the actual things that I picked out first because I got this beautiful, beautiful boy. Look at him. It's a Tanuki, a raccoon dog, which is a species native to Japan. But you see like sta Tanuki statues all over Japan and they're like... They're, they're, those are pretty ugly and this is like a cutified version of it and I just think it's adorable it's so fat so I needed to have this one because I really wanted a tanuki and I feel like the less expensive ones of the regular style were really ugly and the eyes never matched the eyes were ugly whatever and then I saw this one it was more affordable but still freaking adorable so and then we also got an amulet from I'm pretty sure this was at the Hiroshima Castle Shrine and they have like little of like these amulets in the shape of your Chinese horoscope and my boyfriend and I are both here of the rabbit so we got a little bunny and it has like a little fortune in here and it's really cute so hopefully this will bring good luck Okay, now we got some more like random like mystery box things oh wait no, I also got this one this one I specifically bought also a Nico, isn't he perfect? It's just a tiny frog, it basically looks like a Lego frog. And it's like 60 cents, so I got it. Because it's small and cute. Then we had a ton of mystery boxes. Um, some Pokemon things, some, and some Ghibli things. Because Ghibli has these really cute little mystery boxes where you can get like a gemstone in the shape of a little Totoro. It's really cute. And then I got two different ones. Tomika makes like little car toys in Japan. And he had a Ghibli collection. And I found this one in a book of. It's, it, so it, it is a car toy. It has like little wheels so it drives. But it's GG in the cage from Kiki's Delivery Service. And we got a mystery Pikachu box with pins. So I got a mystery pin. And it's like glow in the dark and this one is so cute he looks so shocked he is adorable then i did a gashapon with like swimming pokemon i guess and so cute it's oshawott and he is on a little tube and he's just having the time of his life and then in some second hand shop i got this cute little set of like a little ditto you all know i love ditto this is the little metamon the little ditto and then it came with a Pikachu ditto. So this is basically just a ditto that's dressed as a Pikachu. So that's why it has the freaking dumbass face that it has. And I think that's the absolute beauty of ditto. We also have a little Kirby who is sweeping. I got him from a little bath bomb. And then we have some random Gashapon stuff and mystery box stuff. So first off I have this one. Which is a little keychain. Plate of sushi from Kura Sushi. We love Kura. So you literally have, like, this is what they look like on the conveyor belt. Then another random cashapon is this weird, it's just a cat. And he's standing. And he's looking very polite. And then I also have Mothman. And he's also looking very polite. Like, why is he sitting like that? And then from some mystery boxes, we got these little ones, which are really cute. They look like the little statues that are, like, all over the um, shrines which I forgot what they're called, but they have like a little red cap and a little red um, cape and then I think it means they're like protectors of children and then you have like these little ones that are animals that look like those little statues so this is a koala, I think it's really cute and then I also got another smishki because I am in the country of the smishki uh, I freaking love smishki I have a few, they're like glow-in-the-dark little men but i got this one and it, it, yeah there's two he's just laying with this little guy and they're glow in the dark and i think they're really cute let's go with this one first because it's not really stationary but i do have this absolutely beautiful book which i made myself very proud of myself this is a goshun cho which is a stamp book temple stamp book where you collect stamps from different temples and shrines that you visit 
It's basically like to show that you have visited that specific shrine or temple. It used to be used for pilgrimages, but it's also just fun to collect and a lot of people do it. And we did a bookmaking course uh, with really, really lovely people, Tsutomo and his daughter Yoko. And Tsutomo was amazing at making books and he explained how to make books. He showed it to us, we made them ourselves. You could pick your own cover from old kimono cuttings and this one from like a vintage kimono. I love this one because it even had like the stains on it. Like you could see this was like used. Someone wore this kimono and I like that idea. I think it's so unique. And you got to make like the, own, the stamp for this yourself. And then you can open it like this. And there is one of the temple stamps. And it's beautiful, it's like calligraphy. Here's another one, this one has little fishy, fishies and fireworks as well. All the temples have their own unique stamp. They're beautiful. It's far from full, which is good because you're not supposed to have your Gojoncho filled because it means you're ready to move on to the afterlife. <laughs> so it's far from full, but I think this is really, really such a fun and unique souvenir. I would really recommend doing something like this. It's it's so fun to do. I will link the Airbnb advertisement for Tsutomo and Yoko's uh, bookmaking session down below because I completely recommend it. It's so fun. They're so lovely people. They gave us iced tea or like soda and tea and snacks and they showed us like a video of the history of of Kyoto and Yoko took us to one of the shrines to show us how to get like a temple stamp and whatever and be respectful about it and show us more about the religion. It's really really interesting, really great experience, it's beautiful and I have this amazing souvenir to take home. We have two things left, station, no three things, stationery, books and plushies. Um, uh, this does really kind of stationary, but I also don't know where else to put this. But I got this, which is this beautiful, which is this beautiful Studio Ghibli puzzle. It's like a um, what do you call it? stained glass, a stained glass inspired puzzle with Totoro on it and a cat bus and the little switch fries and everything. It's so cute, and it's like actual stained glass style. So the puzzle pieces are see-through so you can put them like in front of a window and it will actually look like stained glass. And that's such a cool concept to me and I can't wait I can't wait to make this puzzle. It's so cute. And I have a lot of different things. So I'm gonna start with pens because I got a lot of pens at both Muji and a different big stationery store that we went to in Ginza. Um, first of all Muji pencil case. Great. And then we have a shit ton of pens, and most of them are purple. <laughs> so I got a bunch of Muji. So I got a purple ballpoint pen, which is like a gel pen. And I have the same thing in pink, and like a deep pink as well. Then I have a purple marker, which is also a pretty color, like marker highlighter. Then I have two of these erasable pens. But yeah, they're in black and in pink on your right. And then you can erase it with like the back of this, which is really interesting. And then I got a felt pen, water-based lilac, also purple. Mm -hmm. And then I got some pens at the other stationery stores, so these are from different brands. Two pens by Pilot Japan, um, which are also like the, the juice up ballpoint pen so it's similar to those ones that I got from Muji. So I got a regular purple one and then I also got a purple sparkly one. And then I got a pen which just writes black. The one uniball but it just it just wrote really comfortably so I got that one as well. And then my boyfriend got me the friction ball slim pen. I think this one either has like black or purple ink I'm not sure because I didn't check it myself, my boyfriend was just like, these are supposed to be good, here you have it, and the store was closing, so I got that one as well. So I just got a shit ton of purple and pink pens. And to get started on an internship, I also bought some notebooks. So I first of all got just a very simple 
notebook with lines and then I also got this little planner book which is also really cheap and it has weekly planners in it and I thought that would be really useful to just plan uh, experiments and everything just separately from my regular planner so I thought that would just be nice and those are both from Muji by the way then I got some like tabs and sticky notes and everything um, so from Muji I got the transparent sticky notes because I've been looking for those everywhere and I wanted them so yeah these are nice I'm gonna use them for like reading annotating and everything transparent sticky notes and I got some other sticky notes from Muji those are longer and they're to-do lists and I just thought these would be handy to be able to stick in my planner that I just showed so if I have like a weekly to-do list I can just stick this next to it and I can cross things off and I thought it would be handy so I got that one as well and then I got some other tabs, sticky notes, whatever I got these ones from the dollar store the 100 yen strop and these are just see-through so you can like highlight lines with it in books without using a highlighter and it being permanent so I wanted to use this for like annotating and highlighting in my just regular book reading and then I got some Pokemon tabs from like ghost Pokemon and they're really cute so then you have just some ghost Pokemon that are sticking out of your books and I thought that would be adorable then I also have washi tape because of course um, I just got some random washi tape from the 100 yen store because I thought they were cute I got yellow with some blue flowers very pretty and then some dinosaurs with cacti and then I also got my absolutely beautiful beautiful washi tape from Kayukan from the aquarium so we have washi tape with the whale shark on it and other beautiful marine animals and it just looks so cute we got the sunfish the really ugly sunfish which is also I saw that one in real life for the first time and I was so excited they're so ugly and I saw them and then of course I got a shit ton of stickers um, so first of all we went to B-Side Label which is like a small store so I got this really cute capybara but they're like really high quality stickers so this Shiba trying to buy something at the convenience store <laughs> and focus on his great wave with a dumb face beautiful we have one that looks like a stamp with a Daruma doll on it and then I have this one which this one makes me laugh every single time it's just a bunny but he's sitting in a bowl of ramen and he is so warm do you see his face he is absolutely dying to get out of this hot steaming bowl of ramen but he's staying in which is so funny to me so yeah I got those nice stickers from B-Side Label then I got two Mofusan stickers from the weird looking cats oh my god we got the shark cat look at him and then I also have some cats in a little sandwich which is just ridiculous but I love it and then we got a lot of sticker sheets um, first of all Pokemon all the purple Pokemon so I, ba I mainly got this one because there's data on it and then I got some Totoro stickers as well they're really cute you can't really see them I'm sorry there's some beautiful Totoro stickers in here and then I got two sheets of stickers at Kayukan because of course um, look at these so many whale shark stickers so many got capybara stickers as well other beautiful animals the sea angel thingy over there that's so cute the otters they're just freaking adorable and then some more in a different style got some more whale shark got a lot of different different animals and they're all really cool very nice and then i got some packs of pokemon stickers also from the pokemon center so first I got the Pokemon Flake Seals for the new collection. So this is from the newest Pokemon as well. So it has these stickers in it. So you have like the new starters, Quaxley, Fococo and Sprigatito and then Pikachu. And then some of the new Pokemon and Eevee. And they're just really cute. They're cute stickers. They're just having a picnic. I think it's from like the... I think it was called like the picnic collection or something 
I also bought the Pokemon Sleep collection because they had so many Pokemon Sleep stuffies and I wanted them so bad because they look so adorable just sleeping Pokemon they look so cute but they were expensive and I couldn't get all of them of course so I thought why not get the sticker pack because now we have stickers of sleeping Pokemon and they're all really adorable and I'm happy because we have Chikorita over there and I wanted the Chikorita plush so bad so I at least have the sticker and Snorlax of course my boy Slowpoke many cute ones and they're sleeping which fits my aesthetic I guess because I sleep all the time as well I got some giant Pikachu stickers to put on like suitcases or like big on front of my um, new notebook or whatever got some big Pikachu stickers and these are just a really really cute design they're adorable so those are all the stickers and I do have some not really like prints but I got a postcard that I'm gonna hang up as a print uh, I got it at the Ghibli Museum and it's this Kodama print from Princess Mononoke it's a beautiful movie and the Kodama very very adorable and I thought this was a beautiful print so I'm gonna hang it up and I got this tiny print that we got for free at a market because my boyfriend bought something from a different man so that's really cute I forgot to show you some things from the the, the the my items collection basically oh my god these are like my favorite things so I didn't show them okay so at the Pokemon Center you could also get mystery bag boxes and I had like the bonsai collection and first of all you know I love plants I love bonsai trees then you have adorable bonsai trees that are combined with Pokemon so I had to add have at least two of them so first of all I the first one that I got from the boxes is this one look how cute this is they're sharing the apples freaking adorable and then the second one I really wanted the Pikachu one and I got it from the second box look at that with the Sakura bonsai adorable and then another one that I found really beautiful from that was the um, this guy I really wanted him because of the beautiful, beautiful maple leaf little thing. His little pot is designed like a zen garden. I love it, it's so cute. And I just found him in a secondhand store just like this for half the price of a mystery box. So, of course I took him. So I'm leaving the best for last, which is of course the plushies. Uh, but first let's go over the books. Um, how... I bought like a bunch of secondhand books that I just found in like secondhand bookstores. Not really secondhand books, just bookstores, but they had like a shit ton of secondhand books. So I I bought a few, <laughs> eight books. This is absolutely terrible. First of all, I, uh, let's go through them. I've read one of them so far, which is this one. This is Wings of Fire by 2ET Sutherland, which are children's books. I don't care. It has dragons. It's a fun book. And I saw this one together with part two. So I thought I'm going to get those because... Then I at least have part one and part two of a series together already and I can get through them really quickly. So I got also got Wings of Fire part two. Then I got Mountains Beyond Mountains by Tracy Kidder. This one wasn't was like one year old thirty. That's why I got it. It's about a doctor. I think it's fiction. I'm not sure. I don't really care. I thought back then I thought it was nice, so I bought it. Then I also got Everything Everything, which is that one movie that I haven't seen, so I thought it would be fun to read the book, plus it's thin. Would be a fun read. We love YA reads, you know. Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. In a similar reasoning, I got 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. Uh, I have watched 13 Reasons Why already, so I know what, how it goes and whatever. Um, but I thought this would also be just a quick read for me. thought it would be fun. Something a bit more sophisticated. I got Jane Eyre by Charlotte Ponte. Because classics, I need to read my classics. Um, so I'm getting that one. I, I got one book that I'm quite disappointed by. Not because I've read it, because I haven't read it yet. But I got The Iron Queen by Julie Kagawa. Which I checked so well if this was... Like what 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 part this was. I was so convinced that this was part one in a series. But it's not. In reading order, 
the Iron King is the first one, then the Iron Daughter, and then the Iron Queen. So this is three in a four-part series. And I was so excited to read this as well, because it says on the front that it's the next Twilight. And I was so in the mood for just some bad YA fantasy. Not necessarily bad, but like some sort of trashy in a way that's fun and enjoyable. And it's not supposed to be like literary greatness. It's just supposed to be fun and enjoyable. I was so excited for this one. And I started reading like this first sentence. I was like, I am confused because it seems like something happened before this. And then I saw that list and it said, yes, this is book three in the four book series. And I was like, of course that happens to me. I was so sure I checked everything, but whatever. I might try and find the other parts, and otherwise I'm just giving this one away. Then we have a very heavy book, which I don't know why it's so heavy, but The Enchanted Sonata by Heather Dixon Woolwork, which is a retelling of The Nutcracker. Uh, the only Nutcracker that I have seen is Barbie and the Nutcracker, so I just thought it would be fun to read some other renditions of that. So this one. And it just looked nice. Look at nice. So that's all the books that I bought in Japan. Uh, can you imagine that our bags were very heavy? We have to get to the most important part. We're getting to the end, but this is the most important, most significant part of the video. Plushies. We have so many. First of all, I will show you the ones in a picture that we have that I don't have here that my boyfriend has at his place. So I don't know if you can see it very well in the picture, but we have a giant Pikachu collection because we kind of got Pikachus everywhere we went where they were different. So first of all, we have Pikachus from the, P the Pokemon Cafe because we ate there and we pre-ordered the Pikachus. So I have this one. I'm just going to show them like simultaneously. I have this one. Which is just a cute little keychain Pikachu, like sh like chef waiter Pikachu from the Pokemon Cafe. Um, then we also have a small one of the actual chef, very cute. Then we went to the Pokemon Sweets Cafe, which is Pokemon Sweets Pikachu Sweets, which is by the Pokemon Cafe, but you can just pick up food over there and just eat it somewhere else. And it's just Pokemon themed cute sweets. And we got the another Pikachu waiter and Pikachu chef over there. And they're adorable. They're so cute. And then the other Pikachus that we got where we got we have the Tokyo Station Pikachu. We have the Tokyo Sky Tree Pikachu. And the Tokyo Haneda Airport Pikachu, which actually comes from a vending machine, which is so fun. And then the final Pikachu that we have is a Pikachu Tyranitar because he's wearing a little Tyranitar outfit and it's so cute. It looks so angry. I love him. Um, so that's the Pikachus. Then from the Mochi Mochi collection from Pokemon, like you can get these in the Pokemon Center. They're so ugly. We have the Snorlax and the Psyduck. They look so freaking ugly. They're flat, but I love them. So those. And then we have one kind of unique one, which is the Espion Ditto. And all the Ditto ones that we found were just really expensive. And this one was doable, so we did get this one. And then we have the plushies that I have over here. So as you can tell, we've got a lot of plushies. So I'm gonna start with my big boy because I love him. And we're still in Pokemon theme, basically. So <laughs> he's so big, he's so fluffy, he's here, he's queer, he's there to stay. He's so fluffy, I am. He's so fluffy. This is Substitute. It is literally a Substitute. In the Pokemon games, you have this plush, which is an actual plush toy in the Pokemon games. And you can use it as a to play, to make the other Pokemon think that they're playing against your Pokemon still. Um, but he is literally a Substitute for your Pokemon, so your Pokemon doesn't get harmed. And he is so cute and fat and fluffy and soft and i loved him from the moment i saw him and i went i, I didn't buy him only in like the third pokemon center that i went to i was like i'm sorry but i need i need him i need him in my life then let's see we got some more pokemon stuff another very fun one that i absolutely love 
Pokemon Yoruto collection, Eevee with the dumbass face. I found him in a book off. He's so cute. He's perfect. He looks dumb. I love him. Then we got a Turtwig, because of course Turtwig. Yes. I also got an Oshawa, because I freaking love Oshawa. And then the final Pokemon plushie that I have, so it's not the final plushie, just the final Pokemon plushie, is the Snorlax. I also had to get myself a Snorlax, and he's very cute and tiny. He's just cute, he's just chilling. And then we got, I got a few other plushies. So most of those Pokemon ones I got at secondhand stores, but these ones I got at like actual stores. I got this one at the Ghibli Museum, and it's just a tiny Totoro, and he's really fluffy and cute. And I had to have him. And then I have Kirby. And he's cooking. He'd be cooking. He's beautiful. I also got a loaf. But it's a deer. And it's a loaf. And he has good squish. And he's beautiful. And I got him at Miyajima where there are beautiful, beautiful deer. So it makes sense. Then I also have another whale shark. We need more whale sharks. They're beautiful. They're beautiful majestic creatures and you can put your hand in his mouth. Very fun. I got this at the aquarium, of course. He also has good squish. And then the final one, the boy that I love, Kitsune. So I did one of those giant, like, they blow around like little papers in... It's just a little lottery thing. You pick one paper out of like a, a bowl you get a number and then you either win like this size or sizes bigger of Shiba's but this one had this Kitsune as an option and I was like if I'm gonna grab the Kitsune no matter what size I get I'm gonna grab the Kitsune version because look how cute he is he's beautiful and I love him and his face is so cute and I love the details and I love that it's a bit more unique than just a regular Shiba Inu Knuffle Knuffle I just went fully Dutch it's too late for me. Plushy. <laughs> the regular Shiba Inu plushy. So yeah, I love him. He has good squish. That's it. People, that concludes my entire Japan haul. So yeah, Japan haul. Fun time. We got so many things. I acknowledge that. But it's been fun. And I will not be allowed to buy more stuff for the coming weeks. Because I have a lot of things now. Um, and especially books. I'm not gonna buy any books. I'm not allowed. I need to read books. Um, but I got everything. I'm even prepared for my internship, so that's nice. And I have so many fun skincare things to try out that I'm really excited about and I got a lot of exciting things and I'm just happy. And I had the best trip of my life. It, uh, it was literally the best trip. I can't wait to go back. The, the sooner the better. Basically, I love Japan so much. That was literally everything that I got in Japan. I'm so sorry, it's been awfully long. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for see more from me. Want to see even more from me, my blog, my socials, and my Instagram where I post makeup looks like this are all linked down below so you can check that out as well. That's gonna be it for me today. And I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Toodles!